if he can't pay for the first date, would you even go out on a date with him? Mm, depends on his vibes. Like, because I got money, I pay for it. Date. If you want to go out, we'll go out. You ain't got no money and your vibe's straight, I'll take you out. Shit. Is my vibe straight? You, uh, yeah, your vibe's straight. So you're trying to pay for my date? You're not my type. I'm not your type? Yeah, I would tell you that. So we wouldn't even get to a date part. What's your type? They have this kind of extraordinary vibes. I go off by vibes. Oh, by vibes? Okay, I got a trivia question for you. Name three countries. Three countries? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to see if you're my type real quick. Um, countries. Uh, London. This country. Oh, I have to do it. Okay. Um, Tennessee. Okay. Um, Florida. Okay. All right. Damn, that's one dumb female right there. At least she knows she qualifies for the soft guy era because if you have a kid with her, your kid might turn out a little mentally challenged. Something to note, when females give vague answers like being attractive to vibes, what they mean is being attracted to players and the bad boys. They don't want to say that out loud because they keep their options open for the good guy if they can't lock down these smash and dash type men. Had that guy had 21 inch arms and was over 6 feet tall, I'm pretty sure he'd have the quote unquote vibe she was looking for. And the fact that she was willing to pay tells you that she got ran through by broke Tyrones. At least she's willing to pay for her physical demands unlike most modern women. Most females not only have the physical demands but expect the princess and sugar baby treatment from these physically gifted men. The result of no child left behind and she kept going. And this female's vote counts just as much as yours. Another comment, she didn't pass the vibe check. I'm surprised she even passed middle school. Before we keep going with the video, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to JC who said, ladies, roses are red, violets are blue, being alone is the new you. Being alone is stunning, working to the good old age of 80 is brave. Earth is a great place between now and the grave. Have a nice day, Bye bye Chef's kiss of a comment, gold star my man. So man, don't forget to reach out to my email to claim your $5. As always guys, I'll be picking one comment from each video. Could be the most creative, or it could be the funniest, or just one that stuck out to me. So don't forget to leave a comment, and you could be tomorrow's comment of the day. So be sure to hit that like and sub button too, as the support means a ton. So now let's get right back into the video. your masculinity. Oh, you gotta watch this. It's so hard to talk right now. <laughs> Situation's so hard. <laughs> I'm just trying to relax. I tried to fix it after three days on my husband. And he's just like, no, you can't, you know? Like, I'm done with you today. He keeps reiterating, like, through text message, like, we can be brother and sister in Christ. Sorry, this couldn't work out. So I um, came to live with my family, but they're hopping from place to place because they don't have a place. Seven days here. Somebody's there. It's the hardest situation. I'm about to go through a divorce. My husband not being there for me and he knows the situation my family's in. Which is one argument that we had before I left the house because he said if your family loses their house, then then they can stay here. But once it happened, I asked him and he said no. Now I'm in this situation with them because he doesn't want me back. I don't know. I just got a new job. And he said he's done helping me. He's done paying my bills on March 15th. So it's like helping my family 
trying to pay my bills, not having a house, moving every freaking 7 to 14 days from place to place with the company my mom works for because it's like they have vacation houses but it's just the most humiliating degrading low position ever and just to know that like I'm married and like my husband just doesn't care and isn't helping doesn't want me like I let I left the house because you threatened to call the cops on me when I wasn't even yelling at you. I don't know what's going on in my life. I'm over it. I'm just like, what is happening? I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of struggle and pain. We don't get in relationships thinking of the ending. We got to know that that's a possibility. Just know life can start life in. Life can turn on us in an instant. Always make sure you're good, regardless. And that goes for women and men. Always make sure you can still stand on your feet if things go south. Make sure your credit good and make sure you have income coming to you because your income does help with the household. But if that household were to crumble and you are on your own, you are self-sufficient and you will not be in this situation. Enjoy the relationship. It's beautiful. Pour into the relationship, but make sure you're taking care of you too. That in case something like this happens, that you're good and you don't have to start over. We got to do better. And even if your relationship didn't end the car stop working every once in a while. A medical issue might arise. You should always be prepared for the rain. Every day is not going to be sunny. This lady did not prepare for the rain. My advice right now would be, so you got to find some emotional support. You need to go find local resources. And now that you have this job, you got to start budgeting. You got to, you got to get your finances together. Go seek legal advice. And don't forget to take care of yourself because your mental health is everything. Go ahead and cry. But then after you finish crying, you get up and you get to work because nobody's going to do it for you. Do you think her husband should continue helping her out until she get on her feet? What are your thoughts? Drop your comments. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, follow. You know what to do. Let's get this conversation going. And remember, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Let's go. Finally, a good ending to a divorce. This is what should happen every time. So just maybe these bed wenches think twice before wasting a man's time and commitment. Remember, most of these females want to get married and propose to because it's on their bucket list. They don't really want to be a wife. They just want to be the star for one day, not their wedding. They want to be the center of attention show off their big diamond ring to their single friends to flex and dunk on them. Because after all, most of these females are in competition with each other to see who can get the most benefits from a relationship or the best man out there. That's why a man can sleep with a whole friend group if his SMV value is high enough, because they'll be fighting for him in a thought version of Game of Thrones. And whoever this king is, you dropped your crown. It sounds to me she expected the husband, or now her ex-husband, to support her family as well on top of the fact that she comes across as argumentative, which just proves that most church women are modern women who pretend to be good. They want the 50-50 marriage, not the biblical one where the wife submits to the husband and serves him. I'm guessing this man protected his wealth, which is why she can't divorce Robin because otherwise she would have been celebrating that she's about to get half. As for the lady giving the commentary advice, what she says just adds fuel to the fire. Instead of telling women to maybe be more agreeable and less of a B-I-T-C-H in the relationship, she's telling them to have one foot out of the relationship like most modern women do. And this is why most marriages fail, because these females aren't all in. As soon as they're expected to be held accountable in a traditional relationship, they claim victim status. There's no reason to argue or be argumentative in a marriage, especially if the man is supposed to be the love of their life. If the man pays all the bills and provides a comfortable lifestyle, there is no problem to be had, except a modern woman not wanting to do wife duties like cook or clean. So she effed around and found out. 
Top comment says, that sprinkle sprinkle done backfired. And to think she actually had a man. Most of these sprinkle sprinkle bed wenches will never get that opportunity. Yet she threw it away with her actions. When a man puts a woman out of a house, that woman has done him dirty. Got no sympathy for her. Something is not totally adding up because she's not telling the whole side of the story. She's just doing an SOS save an HOE call to all the sims to save her. Even a female points out, Sounds like she did something that's unforgivable to me. She has social media, so you can put two together. Social media allows her to talk to random men. And this is why you have to tell a woman up front, if she wants that commitment, she needs to be off of social media. This includes foreign traditional women as well. Just because you're in a traditional country doesn't mean all the women are traditional. The ones that have social media are as modern women as anyone in the West. So don't be gullible and vet every woman carefully. For the haters, you know, you know where you could kiss it. Because you don't pay my bills. <laughs> and I'm the baddest bitch. Um, if you don't like me, that's fine. But, you know, watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you would even discuss my looks is insane. I'm a bad bitch. Always been a bad bitch. Every time a man sees my video, it's always like, you know, if... If you were my girl, you'd never have to carry another bag of food again. I would carry every bag of food you ever have. First of all, bitch, I have a wagon, okay? Bold of you to think that I need you to carry my feet. I have a wagon, and it's four-wheel drive, mind you, okay? Goes through the mud, the muck, and the cow turds. A man. You honestly think a man? God says no man ever. She looks like a boy and seems to be a raging B-I-T-C-H. Who really wants to be around her? But let's see if she keeps that single don't need a man energy in 10 years when she looks like a middle-aged lesbian. Sorry, my brother's at the cleaners! Along with my hoodie and my fuck you flip-flops, you pretentious douchebag! In case if you can't read the text, the thought wrote, when people think us single moms need a man to financially support ourselves. Yeah, that's a load of BS, but hardly any of the single moms stop the man when he reaches to pay for anything. And they love claiming they're independent in their Section 8 home while being dependent on welfare, which is mostly funded by men's tax dollars at gunpoint. These deadbeat single moms love to be strong and independent on child support and alimony. I haven't slept with my husband in probably a year. Um, unintentionally, probably four or five months. Intentionally, probably eight or <coughs> eight or nine months. Um, and that really gets a lot of people um, upset and causes them to jump to a lot of conclusions. Um, and when I say sleeping together, I mean literally lying unconscious next to him. Um, we've been sleep divorced for about a year intentionally seven months um unintentionally a full year so um i people ask all the time like how did this happen what do you do like and they honestly their first thought is that we're unhappy and our marriage is on you know the downward spiral and that's not the case um you should be prioritizing your sleep um have you ever not slept for an extended period of time because this thing is real fucking terrifying when you don't. Um, it's really dangerous um, for you, for your family. Um, and I experienced it firsthand how fucking dangerous and terrifying it is when you don't sleep for long stretches of time. Um, so I had to prioritize my sleep and that meant not sleeping with my husband. And that's just the way it is. Because for me to be a functioning adult, for me to be an active mother and wife, I have to prioritize my sleep and that means sleeping alone. And you know what? We're fine. My husband is fine. I am fine. My marriage is fine. We don't need your pity. We don't need your sorrow. Everything's okay. If you sleep great next to your spouse, wonderful. Love that for you. Um, if you don't, <clears throat> that's okay. Doesn't mean you love your spouse any less. Doesn't mean that your marriage is on the rocks. 
um, doesn't mean you're headed for divorce. It simply means that you two are confident in your marriage and in your relationship with each other to know that lying unconscious next to each other for eight hours a night is not going to be the thing that breaks you. And if it is, your marriage was shit to begin with. Stop the cow. <laughs> This is the modern woman in a nutshell. She doesn't go into detail what her husband does while sleeping. Like, if he snored very loud and she was a light sleeper, then I can see it being a real issue. But she doesn't clarify this, nor does she confirm or deny they have intimacy. Which I'm going to say, it looks like she withheld SEX from her husband for over a year. And there's no such thing as a sexless marriage, because someone is eventually going to have it outside the marriage, which is usually the feminist. Yet her husband can't stop paying the bills just because he doesn't feel like it or he claims to have mental health problems. But somehow, this is a perfectly good excuse for feminists to not get intimate with the so-called love of their life. Basically, this is a slick way to get into the roommate phase of the divorce. A female comments, sleeping together is a form of intimacy. And the feminist in the video responds, no it's not. You can't make this shit up. These used up females are so dead inside from all the drugs and the sleeping around that romance does nothing for them because their system is fried. The wife and I cuddle every night. If she wanted to sleep in a separate bedroom, that would be devastating, honestly. Seven hours of cuddling at night can't even be replaced in the day. You don't have to cuddle for the whole night, but at least sometimes would show you're actually in a real relationship. Finally, someone says it. Y'all are in the divorce preseason phase. And she responds three times to the comment, Loose? Loose? Hey Bob, I'm concerned about your fourth grade comprehension skills. Swing and a miss, buddy. It looks like she blocked or deleted comments she responded to. The fact that she responds to most of the comments tells me she's either cheating on the husband or will divorce him eventually. She's hiding something. After all, she's a feminist. Her own TikTok profile reads, Bitter B-I-T-C-H. When a female calls herself a female dog, it's a black flag meaning you move on with no questions asked. I have an equal partner. I don't have to make him a list. I have an equal partner. I don't have to ask him to help with things around the house. I have an equal partner. He knows how to shop at the grocery store without pictures. I have an equal partner. He doesn't expect me to handle everything alone. I have an equal partner. He plans date nights without me having to beg for it. I have an equal partner. He does his own laundry. I have an equal partner. He makes his own appointments. I have an equal partner. My stocking has never been empty. I have an equal partner. He makes the kids lunches in the morning. I have an equal partner. He makes and takes their son to his therapy appointments. I have an equal partner. He doesn't believe that just because he goes to work, he shouldn't have to do anything when he gets home. I have an equal partner. He takes genuine interest in me and my interests. I have an equal partner. He knows how to fold towels. I have an equal partner. He takes our kids to bed and knows their teacher's names. I have an equal partner. He doesn't make me feel bad if I'm not in the mood. I have an equal partner. He acknowledges and appreciates what I do and tells me that often. I have an equal partner. He does basic adult tasks without being asked. That's not equal. That's him doing 90% of the relationship. And this is why marrying a feminist is a nightmare. I guarantee you she has a massive body count before they got married. If you are straight, if you have a husband that's moody and a bit rusty and all these things, and you tried everything, you tried like being nice and it's not working, have a look at your, the, the physical intimacy. If that's even remotely missing, it's like they, they can't activate their happy switch until they Men can't be happy unless they have access to your body to provide themselves pleasure. Just making sure we're on the same page here. Not only should your body um, never be forced to be given up in order to make a man happy, um, you also should never be in charge of anybody's happiness. You should not be in charge of making your man happy. That's incredibly unhealthy. But to say that if your man is in a bad mood, he's pissy, he's moaning, he's crying, that you need to provide him access to your body so that he can suddenly become happier, that's wildly problematic. If your husband is acting like a dick, that's on him to communicate why. Not on you to lay your body down for him to become happy, for him to work through his shit. If your husband can't be happy without the use of your body, that man needs therapy, not a whole. 
And there it is. She literally withheld SEX from her husband for a year despite him doing most of the relationship. Yet, feminists always claim if the man does house chores, they'll be less tired and more willing to do bedroom fun, which has always been a bunch of BS. It's her body when it comes to showing her husband she loves him, but he has no say when it comes to paying the bills. He has to work to make money because he's the man. When a female makes excuses why she doesn't want to sleep with her significant other, it's because she doesn't love him. Yes, sometimes it's the bad time of the month or she's feeling sick. Sure, that's a valid excuse, but it doesn't need any explaining. Saying a man isn't entitled to her body is a prerequisite to eventually leaving. Because a woman that loves a man will screw him anytime and anywhere and make sure his balls are empty. It doesn't even cross her mind because she has genuine desire and love. This is why feminists are the least desired women on the planet. Divorced and homeless. Lost everything. Sorry to say. Lady judge. He gave everything to my wife. Yeah, things just, you know, we had a kid. He's now 24. I don't see him. You know, I see him once a year. I don't want to be up here. 65 years old. I'm retired. The city's tough. There's no job, especially for older people. 50 bucks to get a haircut. You're good. Thank you. I'm hanging in there. I'm still strong. Most women in the West, despite not claiming to be a feminist or even proclaim to be against feminism, have feminist tendencies ingrained into them by society and by the government re-education system. So, 30 seconds of fun can lead to 60 years of misery. This is why most men are going MGTOW. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.